there is a growing cabal in the presidency. Tinubu must act fast with respect to Betaedu. <laughs> Alin Dume warns. So with what is happening on, on Betaedu matter now, um, it's now a serious national uh, matter. And uh, <laughs> Alin Dume is warning President Tinubu now that he must act fast, meaning that there is something happening around. Uh, we know that that amount of money that is uh, moving that uh, beta edu is moving around she wouldn't be doing that alone she uh, there is a group using her and uh, <laughs> i just hope that uh, the investigation will produce result let's dive into the details to see the details of the warning coming from alin dume to president Tinubu. the chief whip of the senate alin dume have warned that there is a growing cabal within the administration of president bola Tinubu. Ndume raised the alarm on Monday when he commended President Tinubu for suspending the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation, Beta Edu, over the allegations of financial mismanagement against her. The Borono South Senator, however, alleged that Edu is not working alone, but is in connivance with certain powerful individuals who have since formed a cartel in the Tinubu presidency. He added that Tinubu must act swiftly to dismantle them so the said cabal does not pull down his administration. Senator Ndume, who made the revelation in a phone chat with Tribune, however, commended Tinubu for the boldness to suspend Edu, saying she saying uh, the removal of the minister would send a strong signal to other ministers in the in Tinubu's cabinet that their principal would not tolerate corruption. Mm. So Tinubu would not co tolerate corruption. That is a mistake. He added that the president, by his sugar singular action, has also gained the trust of Nigerians who will now begin to take his administration seriously. It's not enough. Oh. There are so many, there are thousands of data edu in Tinubu's administration. So it's not the, the action is not enough yet. That is the truth. So he said what President Tinubu has done is very timely. Um, the suspension of the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs is a welcome development. It will allow the relevant agencies to conduct a proper investigation. Exactly. Because the truth is that you can't say you're investigating but I do. Meanwhile, she's still in the office and she's still interacting with the people investigating her. How do you expect to get... Uh, a good result from that kind of investigation. I don't think it's possible. So the best thing for that investigation to produce result is for her to be out of office. That is it. So that access to document, access to information will not be impeded. Okay. Hmm. If they are not stopped, okay, they will be stronger and worse than the cabal. So the, but the president should not stop there. There is an emerging political uh, cartel within the corridors of power. The president must not must act swiftly and dismantle the cartel. That is what they're saying here. <laughs> and uh, I said some people in the same position Tinubu is. In, is in would not have acted but as the leader in charge he acted swiftly and the minister has been suspended we would commend the president this is something nigerians should commend okay if they are not stopped they will be stronger and worse than the cabal the president must not allow them to ha allow that to happen i don't think what the minister did was an isolated case i don't think she acted alone. The president needs to look deep and flush out those involved in mismanaging the funds meant for humanitarian uh, assistance. We are hopeful that the president will take more decisive actions in the future. Okay, so what Alain Dume is trying to tell everybody here is that Betaedu is not acting alone. Tinubu is commended for acting fast and, you know, taking Tinubu down, I mean, uh, taking Betaedu out of office. And that will send signal to the remaining uh, people that uh, are working with her that it's not going to be business as usual. 
again what uh, is said here is that better i do is not working alone it's in a cabal and the cabal is about to be stronger than the government Tinubu must act fast if um, before they will pull his administration down and now Lin Dume is telling us that uh, you know <laughs> if some people are in position of Tinubu, they will not act so fast but Tinubu has acted so fast and that will make nigerians to begin to you know develop trust and confidence in his administration like like He's only sacrifice, no matter what he does, he's only sacrifice that will develop that level of uh, trust and confidence. Because even his own emergency office is fraudulent. So what about, uh, you know, what about uh, 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 the people that he has also used to gather himself in the office? He has, why, why wouldn't even there be crime and uh, embezzlement in this office? Because first of all, he has a very bloated government, the largest cabinet in the history of Nigeria. That's one. Two, he gave a lot of appointments for as compensatory uh, gesture to those people for, uh, you know, for working for him, doing the dirty job for him to become president. That is another thing. Yeah. So having gathered all those people now, and, uh, you know, a lot of them are there, they know that they are available for compensation. That is the truth. And they go look at the kind of uh, budget that came out and look at what you know the way to have been handling financial uh, matters since he assumed office what are what do you see it's all about favoritism and all about what they can get okay all about what they can get so <laughs> this is a very serious one i must tell you the truth right so there are a few comments from what uh alin dume has just said some say don't use the word cabal, rather say traitors or rogues or pen robbers or even corrupt friends in the same political party. Cabal is vague and does not describe the true picture of those dishonest politicians. Okay, oh, that's your view. Another person, did you advise your brother PMB during his time? Can you imagine? So now Alin Dume is being accused. You are advising Tinubu. Did you advise? Uh, Buari when he was there to behave because Buari has also had the worst of a uh, system in in history of Nigeria. Senator Ali Ndume's comment made sense. That's what somebody saying. Simply mention his name. Baja uh, Ndume kindly completed. Nari Baja, can you imagine? Baja Biamila. Baja. That's the green cabal. That is it. And that cabal will be under Baja Biamila. And that 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 is strongly suspected. At least Tinubu has proven to be different from Buari in this uh, aspect. Tinubu should wake up and take charge of his government. There are so many approvals the president has granted but have not been implemented because his ministers are cornering the money. Can you imagine? They should begin to begin to pick them one by one. Continuation of criminality, Nigerians should stop complaining to us. What you want and voted for is what you get. Who doesn't know that Tinubu is on the government of the most corrupt Buhari, yet the same APC was elected by tribal by God? See what tribalism does to you pigs. <laughs> stop complaining and let the politicians do do now the worst. Soon, a liter of fuel will be 1,200. I'm smart, you know, this one. Somebody is angry. Somebody is bitter. Let's let her mention all the cabal involved. Okay? So let her mention all the cabal involved. She will confess when the time reach. Baja Bermila is uh, number one. The interior minister and Beta Edu hide under him to commit many fraud. Do you have proof? Do you have record? Yeah. We need to see what we know. Okay? The cabal is already there in the presidency. God is at work for exposing this. One of the top cabal in the presidency was gifted 15 billion naira for a minimum position from an ex governor. Can you imagine? That's too sad. That's too sad. Double talk. Okay? No substance. It is the forces against her that ensured she is off the track. Can you imagine? Somebody is trying to defend her now. Are the forces against her? And uh, what are those forces? The president, don't try. If not worry, you, sh you shout till tomorrow. You not go hear. <laughs> Abi, was he hard of hearing? Eh? Was he hard of hearing? 
So that is what Ndume is trying to bring out here, warning Tinubu that the cabal is just so much that uh, he needs to act fast before they will pull his administration down. So let's have a comment in this regard and uh, uh, let's have a view for sharing. Thank you for listening.